In our last installment of Retro 5.0, we set the baseline power numbers on our 1993 5 liter engine at 260 horsepower and 327 pound feet of torque. Pretty stout numbers for a stock Thunderbird cam and E7 top end. Now, let's head back to KPE Racing, get that stock top end torn down, and replace it with a little bit of classic and a little bit of modern from Trick Flow and Holly. Welcome, you've got mail. cc trick flow 11r heads this is their latest and greatest small block ford design uh, as you can see from here with the valve angles that's where the twisted wedge comes from and we've got uh, 202 intakes and 160 exhaust valves and they weigh significantly less than the iron heads they are replacing kit on we got the 11r heads on we got the new valve train basically in place we got the new cam in it's a stage one track heat i believe it's called uh we got the holly system axe on we transferred over our 75 millimeter bbk throttle body we've got the bbk short ram air intake to to put on there um like i said this is this is a stock you know, head cam intake stuff that you would see back in the day. Nothing crazy, nothing wild, except for the modern 11R heads. Those are new, so we're expecting more than the typical 360 horsepower that you used to get out of head cam intake. So we're gonna fire up the dyno, get the Holly EFI running, and see what it makes. about that one. Hold on, I gotta turn off all the stuff. Well, we finally, there's our final pull. We made just under 
400 pound-feet of torque. We made 399.0 pound-feet of torque and 411.1 horsepower. Uh, that is quite good for a head cam intake combo. Uh, it's amazing what what a good head, you know, a good head, good chamber, good ports will do. Um, Trickflow advertised this at 432, but that's on an 11 to 1 engine with a carb intake, so nice short runners. Uh, this is a street intake with nice long runners, and we made 30 more pound feet of torque than they advertised. So, this is a hell of a combination. This is running really well. Now, we're going to put a Vortec on it. Add a little unnatural aspiration, see how much power it makes. Let's go! With those numbers, we are 61 horsepower above the 350 horsepower trick flow originally advertised the Twisted Wedge top end kit at. The only difference between the two kits is the modern 11R cylinder heads. Once again, we're proving that modern components and controls are worth significantly more power than the same combinations were worth 20 or even 30 years ago. Although, that System Axe intake is still doing pretty well all these years later. Now, the next step for any Mustang enthusiast at this point, back in the 90s, would be to go with the trusty Vortec S-Trim Supercharger. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Except, instead of an S-Trim, we're going to use the modern equivalent, the SI-Trim Supercharger and we're gonna use it in an off-the-shelf Fox body tuner kit. How much more power is the modern supercharger worth? Well, make sure you're subscribed because I guarantee you'll wanna see the results of this next round of testing from Retro 5.0. File's done. Goodbye.